MBA or Masters of Business Administration course on music and the creative industries. This is the first time it will be available in Africa. The UK Henley Business School in Africa is officially launching this this evening, as I said, and uh, joining us now is the Dean of Content, John Foster Pedley, in studio. Good to have you. Welcome to Morning Live. Thanks, Leanne. Yeah, it's always nice to have you on, in, uh, on the show. But this one is a completely different thing. Music and the creative industries. Tell us about this. It's fabulous, isn't it? I mean, yeah. all these musicians complaining they don't get enough money from their, you know, for their art. And now we're launching a program that's going to help the music and creative industries become more professional, be more competitive, get more value to the artists and musicians, but also build the industry. So we have a really strong industry for South Africa. Yeah. All right. Creative industries. Obviously, I know music. We're going to go more in depth about music, though. But creative industries, what are you referring to? Well, creative industries, film, TV, dance, advertising, um, anything that deals with creative content. But the thing that's interesting, too, is it's not just for those creative industries. It's not just advertising agencies and music. It's really for those people within normal companies, if you like to say, like um, insurance or banking or airports, whatever, who are working in a creative way. Mm. And studies have been done in the UK that show that those normal companies that use creative methods, they grow something like three times as fast over 10 years, according to the, um, the FTSE 100 index. A, a study was done by the Design Council in the UK. And in bad times, they don't go down as far. And in good times, they bounce up quicker. Yeah. So these are methods to make good companies grow quicker and be more resilient. Uh, how did it all come about? I mean, why, why, why bring in this, this particular course for South Africans? I think there's been a long... Uh, this was launched in the UK last year, and we've been to Hollywood, and it's been presented at Cannes and Maidim in a conference there. But I think what's happened is, in the industry, the, the profits have been leached out. And so there was a great demand by the labels, by the artists, and by the filmmakers to increase the professionalism in the industry so that we could make more money from the industry and create more opportunity. And in South Africa, of course, you talk to most people in the creative industries and they are begging for more yeah. professionalism in the industry. So we're going to come and help people manage better and lead better and use those professional skills in order to make that industry more competitive. Yeah. I mean, th 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 this industry you're talking about, it's also up for a lot of exploitation. It really is. I mean, you've got some of the most amazing creative minds in the industry. Mm. Um, but when it comes to the business of doing what you are good at, it's very difficult sometimes. Well, this MBA is a, is a two and a half year MBA that we study in in blocks, in short blocks, about 15, 16 study days a year. The rest of it's online and then it's applied. So that anyone who's in the industry, be they artists or professionals, will be looking at things like intellectual property, managing creators, and also governance. So governance is critical. So mm -hmm. if you start managing this industry with a very transparent understanding of what governance means, those sort of problems won't happen as much. You'll, yeah. you'll get, it's be harder to get away with things. I think it's absolutely fantastic. Have you already started taking applications for it? Yes, we have. We've, we've got applications in the UK and we've got a lot of interest already. We're launching it tonight. Mm -hmm. We've got Simon Napier-Bell, who is um, George Michael's manager. We've yeah. got uh, Ralph Simon, who launched those little ringtones on your phone, so sure. artists get millions from that. <laughs> so they're, they're, there, they're there tonight. It's a really exciting, uh, really exciting initiative. So is, is some, a, a couple of the lecturers or, or, or those that are going to be giving the course, have you, I mean, who, who are we looking at? Well, we've got Helen Gammons, who is the brains behind the program. She's over here. She runs a lighting company that's winning, winning awards uh, in the film industry. She's here. And the lecturers themselves are typically international experts who are flying in, other intellectual property experts or people who learn, teach, teach you how to manage creatives, or they're helping you with, inter with marketing or digital marketing or governance, as I say. Yeah. Those people fly in, and they're international uh, you know, gurus, really. Yeah, well, one can only imagine. I mean, it must be an amazing thing. But uh, what are you hoping to achieve by it? I mean, what do you think having something like this is going to do for our... our our creative industries and, and music as well? Well, I think for South Africa, one of the most important things to understand is that creative in industries typically grow three times, two or three times as fast as the normal underlying economy. So what we need is fast-growing businesses. So it's going to help kickstart growth in, in the South African economy if we can get these creative industries growing better and also to get other industries growing using more creative acumen. So I yeah. think it's going to build confidence, it's going to build vision, and it's going to be a lot of fun. I think yeah. it's going to be really interesting. Oh, to do I can this. imagine. Yeah. It's going to be fantastic. And I think mm. I'm going to do a lot for the industry. Just, just finally, I know it was, it was launched, obviously, in, um, as you said, it's been in Hollywood. It's in, in mm. London. How was it received there? I mean, has it, has it had sort of 
good reviews so far? Brilliantly. I mean, absolutely, honestly, brilliantly. Okay. I mean, I met some of these students on a UK program, and they're people who played in bands that you would know of, or they're senior managers in record labels, or they're creatives, they're creative directors, they're promoters, and all of those people have um, had a lot of good things to say about it. And the other thing is that when we have events in this program, yeah. it's a lot of fun too. You can imagine oh, can these imagine. people are in the industry. So now we've got an MBA program that's, that's working in a creative way. And when, these, when our lecturers fly in next year, we're also going to run short courses so people from other industries can come and learn from them. That is absolutely amazing. When does it begin? Well, next March, year. yeah. March End of March next year. next year. Okay, so application's still open. You can obviously Application's apply. open and it'll be open up to about February. So right. please contact us. Good, so that's the Henley, the, uh, Henley Business School. So uh, get there. The UK Henley Business School. Uh, the website? What is the website? www.henleysa.ac.za Okay, henleysa.ac.za and uh, you can find out all about this brand new MBA that's being offered here from next year for music and the creative arts industries. I think it's absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much. Thanks, Leanne. As usual, for being with us, the school's dean and content, John Foster Pedley.